What if you could explore your surroundings with real hands-on experience? Not just observing the events and activities around you, but to become part of them. To know what it's like to be an actor in the play or a kickboxer in the ring. Would you do it? Would you have what it takes? And now we fight like ninjas! Hey there, Red. Hey, big guy, uh, what's wrong? You seem upset. Viewers are contacting me, and they're beginning to complain about your attitude. Viewers? <laughs> I'm being watched? Yes, and they're saying you're beginning to come off very misogynistic. <laughs> well, that's ridiculous. I don't rub people down, man. Uh, the Red Man gets rubbed down by the ladies. You see, that's exactly the attitude I'm talking about. You need a lesson on how to treat the female species with respect. Hey, uh, I, I treat the women with respect, man. I, it's just an act. I'm just a chain of character. But, uh, but if you think I need to work on it, um, I'm all for doing a show with a bunch of girls. Uh, bring it on. All right. Sounds like the attitude's changing already. I'll send you exactly what you're going to need next. Hey, Red Man, what's poppin'? Hey, uh, I don't know, man. The big guy was just here, and he complained about my uh, attitude with women, but then he didn't even hook me up with a show. Show? Yo, I got your show right here. No, no, it's gotta be about women, not the pulse, bro. <laughs> no, bro, Warp Tour, Warp Tour. There's a band, Shira Girl. Well, you check them out. Girl? Yeah, I know Shira Girl. Do I know Shira Girl? Yeah, I know Shira Girl. Well, hook it up. Yo, no problem. I'm on it, let's do it. Red and Paz gather up the crew and all of the equipment and head over to the Warp Tour. So I'm, I'm here, you're, you're Shira Girl. Yes. You're, you're the Shira Girl of Shira Girl, but your name's not actually Shira Girl, it's... My name is actually Shira. Shira? That's my real name. Is that your, do you just go by one name kind of thing? Is that your... Yeah, pretty much. Kind of a Madonna kind of thing? Yeah, exactly. Except that you, um, you play much better music. <laughs> just, uh, um, but you know what, speaking of, of Madonna, she was probably one of the, uh, the forerunners in, in establishing like a strong girl image for, for a leader in music. Um, you know, when I first heard about doing the doing the show with Shira Girl, I was told, you know, there's this all-girl band. And, and immediately, you know, for a guy my age, I thought of, like, you know, the Go-Go's or, you know, the Bangles. Um, but you guys rock. And, 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 and not to take anything away from those other bands, I mean, they were certainly competent bands. But uh, you kick ass like a, like, you know, like a hard rock band. There's no doubt Thank about you. it. You, you know, what influences you to, to be so independent? Um, well, I'm just influenced by people who really, you know, do their own thing. And I love colors and I love artistic expression and even when you walk around at the Warp Tour and you see these girls with you know sky-high mohawks and green and purple and obviously this is not the norm in their community and um, you know their family and the things that they have to go through with their mothers and fathers you know just to be who they are and who they want to be. And you got like, your driver he's like sleeping up in there yeah. and we're all doing the interview we're loud and sorry man please is he dangerous? Has he no, ever, he's cool. Has he ever stabbed anybody? No.
Paws hanging out in front of some heavy artillery. We got the we got the KLAQ Hummer, and of course I got the heaviest artillery possible. I got Glenn Garza, the man, the myth, the legend. How's it going, man? What are you up to here today? You forgot the moron, the idiot, the. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> never, Not Glenn, much, never. Man. Not a lot, man. It's Warp Tour 06, yeah. man. Nothing but a big old party out here. Exactly. Security's a good friend of mine, another yeah. Glenn. He gave me a, a heads up on uh, Sheer Girl. Yeah, yeah, Glenn Ray. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He, he listens to them. He, he told me a little bit earlier that he's excited to see him. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's raving about him. He's done all these other shows. Mm -hmm. Pause in the spot. It's about, I don't know, 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, sometime, sometime right. in the wee hours of the morning, for at least for punk rockers, with Glenn Ray in charge of security, I believe. Yes. I do you believe that you are a, a Sheer Girl fan? Is this is this true? Huge Sheer Girl fan. Huge Sheer. What's your favorite Sheer Girl song? Uh, oh no, I don't know the songs oh, like that. On. I mean, come on, I, I, can, I can't tell you the names of the songs of uh, Led Zeppelin anymore. You, just, you can't just bust one out right now. No. Go go go! It's not. No, no, really, honest, I'm not. All right, not, but, but you do like headbang every once in a while, and if you had to throw somebody oh, yeah. out of the pit for it, you know, you'd do it. It's yeah, well, I, I go by and listen to them. I think they got a really positive thing going. Yeah. You know, the all girl band thing. And actually, yeah. I was even having a conversation with Joan Jett when she was with us. Really? And she said, you know what? That females all female bands should should have more of a, uh, a f uh, should be more of a factor in this business definitely, definitely. and uh, so we all agree that sheer girl has a really positive influence right now yeah. this is Glenn Ray go female musicians not getting played enough that is the positive it's probably opinion. pretty comfortable for you you know rocking out with a bunch of girls that's 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 kind of cool but you guys aren't playing in an all-girl venue you're playing here at the warp tour there's a lot of uh, hard rocking guys around here and they're not they're not exactly known for their politeness um, what's that like being you know the girl group in a in a predominantly male um, entourage kind of thing well it's definitely difficult I'm not gonna lie you know um, we fight for everything out here, whether it's exposure, whether it's respect. We do get a lot of support from the crew, and this being our third and fourth year on Warp Tour, people know us, and you know they've come to really believe in us. But it wasn't like that when we first came around, and it's actually gotten a little bit better because of what we're doing. More and more girl bands, female front of bands, are coming to the tour and playing. I mean, the year that I came and I started, I was actually on the tour working with the Truth Campaign. Okay. And DJ Lava was working for Truth as well. And there were really no girl bands on the tour at all. I mean, every now and then for a couple of days, but it wasn't really anyone impressive. So, you know, we're just trying to blaze a trail, and it is, it's just difficult. I mean, we have to fight twice as hard for everything that we get just to gain respect, you know, because people just see girls and rock, and they don't see it as, you know, being two things that should go together. Well, one of the things that you've done that's a little different than, than some of the stuff that I've noticed is you, you come with your own stage. Yes. Um, and it packs out from a truck. Does anybody else have a stage like that? I, I've never seen that before. Um, no, the Ernie Ball truck um, is a similar design. It's kind of what inspired us, but their whole thing is all hydraulics and fancy. So this is like the low-tech version. Yeah, exactly. We made it ourselves. The side cranks down. We screw in the poles and it's very DIY. So, yeah, we've gotten a lot of props on our stage. D I'm sorry, DIY? Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> we need to have a talk. 